This, I would rather just make you an offer and buy it off of you. Okay. I don't know how much you got in it. What do you need to expect to get out of it? I like it. It's, I like it a yeah. lot. It's a very cool piece. These are like 600 bucks brand new. Yeah, it might be a little bit exaggerating for 600 bucks. They're up there, um, depending on a brand. But, Bashlands, those are Bashlands. You know, they, they can get up there, yeah. three to 400 bucks. Hey guys, Peter over here. We're gonna start the video with opening this package. Always excited if I get something from you guys. So, what do we have here? Oh, decals. How about that? What is that? And this one is from Scott and Ren. We're big fans of your YouTube channel and we want to send you a couple things from a little pig rescue in Wisconsin. I hope we can get down to visit you sometimes. Much love. Well, I appreciate you guys. Look at that. They rescue pegs, I guess. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. I like it. And of course, I love the decal. So there's more. I appreciate those. Second act. Campbell Sports, Wisconsin. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. That's very cool. All right, let's get into today's video. Decide uh, to bring well, me bad news. I brought you this yesterday and showed you, but we already took the label off it. But we bought this a carbon fiber knife, and it's not the carbon fiber version, so we lost about 100 bucks off that. How much? 100 bucks. Go so, away. All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> all you asked. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hi. Great. What, what you got? Uh, so I've got uh, a brown and sharp dial indicator. Okay. Uh, who is this guy? You are. I don't have. Uh, oh, they're both brown and sharp. You decided not to climb trees anymore? Yes, absolutely. I'll put it right here so it's it, this is sharp stuff. So. Absolutely. Uh, this guy, I uh, well, so I bought the charger, and then the tools got stolen. So then I just gave up and was like. What do you mean tools got stolen? The tools got stolen out of the work truck, so... Here, I'll have you come over here so I can look up on a computer. Then and a I, torch, uh, huh? And a torch! Because I literally, I have like 10 of them, and I really, really don't like the little ones. Brown and Sharpie. So my biggest thing with these, you know, measuring tools is mm -hmm. how well they're calibrated and when was the last time they were yeah. calibrated and things like that, you know? The, uh... I know it's been some time. Uh... 2000... or 2016. Huh. It's not, so as, it's not as long as I thought it was. But it is like seven years. It huh? is seven years. <laughs> Who makes this one? Ah, uh, that's another brown and sharp. So it seems that it's operating correctly right to the touch, but then again... Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I... I, uh, I no longer work in the machine shop, so... And no longer climb trees. And no longer <laughs> climb trees. That is, that is a young man's game, let me tell no, you. Don't even... I. Recently, I was uh, cutting a big tree down, and I'm telling you, that's a workout. Mm -hmm. That is a workout, <laughs> so, and a charger. What are you thinking? What do you want to get out of this stuff? Um, I really, uh, I really don't know. I know that these are like 600 bucks brand new. Yeah, it might be a little bit exaggerating for 600 bucks. They're up there, um, depending on a brand. But, Bashlands, those are Bashlands. You know, they, they can get up there, yeah. three to 400 bucks. But they're used, so. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, uh -huh. I, I think the indicators uh -huh. and the torch, I'm gonna pass. Okay. 
just because of the calibration on this thing. Yeah. And I have, I think, six or seven of these. No, in the back. I, so, I have the I have the exact same amount. <laughs> uh, the charger, I would be interested. And yeah. The spikes for climbing, I would be interested. What are you thinking? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to the I can see that. Uh, oh boy, I don't even. So this is on YouTube for years. Yeah. She's here. Where she's roaming she? around. She's working. She might be on break or something. I know. It should be the but rapid charge. It should be the rapid charger. Let me, let me see if I can find her. Um, what do you think? Shoot me a number. 120? Might be a little high. I, I was actually going to say only like 50 bucks. Uh, when you're saying one, I'll, I'll be like at 75. I don't want to go any higher. Right. I don't. Um, this is a charger I'm going to sell for like 30 bucks. 30 bucks, you know what I mean? yeah. Yep. And then hopefully I'll get maybe 100 out of these. Mm -hmm. So if I give you like 50 and... Even 25 for this is too much. You know what I mean? Right. So 75 would be top of my game on this. I really, I just, I can't go any higher. Works for me. I, I just have to get my stupid phone turned on, and okay. that's really all I'm trying all right, to do. Cool. <laughs> you got a deal, man. Uh, I do need your idea. Oh, yeah. Honey. Honey? Oh, you found it. She's yeah. sweet like honey. Oh, look at it. Look at it doing yeah, stuff. No, it's that's modeling. A, look at it. old school. <laughs> yeah. She's a queen of modeling. <laughs> All right. 20, 40, 60, 70. Right. Yeah, appreciate Thank you, Pete. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. So I told myself so many times, stop buying this old stuff and this old equipment. I just can't stop. This piece is so cool. I picked this up a few days ago. And it is... It's a it's a joiner, right? Like a shaver, shaver, because yeah, it, it says, says what does it says? It says universal trimmer, and it's made by uh, W R Fox. So it's Fox. What did I or, say? Or maybe I misheard you. W R Fox. Yeah, I guess it sounded a little bit more like. Now I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it says. W R dot F O X. Okay. Yeah, it sounded like you used the U. Um, so this is, this is a machine that he said. But what? from my understanding, th like yeah, if you're trying to make a perfect miter, for like frames. I don't right? want to touch these blades because they're so oh, sharp. They're, but they're insanely sharp. Like seriously, this is crazy how sharp they are. But yeah, he said like it's not for making like huge cuts, but like just shaving, like almost like a chisel, just shaving off the edge right. of like to make a perfect 90 degrees. So you can make frames and things like that yeah. or whatever joints you're making that need super precision like that. that you said you got them like sharpened up professionally and stuff, which I believe because it's hmm. very sharp, but. Anyway, unusual contraption. I like things like this. Again, but, but what do you say about like he said it was like a guillotine or something like that he was calling it? Well, that's what he was calling thing. It says trimmer on here, but yeah. you know what I mean? But very very cool piece cast iron again or solid like steel. This is like 30, 35 pounds, you know? Yeah Very cool piece Dangerous. Like it a lot dangerous. Yes yeah. I like that thing. I think I, I know it's so cool. cool. It is so cool. It's really cool. Uh, it's really cool. I never seen one like this that it's actually mounted. Right. Like that. I had one, a little one, long time ago in a rough shape, like beat up. You okay. know, like you really used like somebody Neptune put it. Neptune or something different? No, Neptune. Okay, Neptune, cool. Neptune. But uh, it was a bigger, I think it was a longer shaft. It was a lot longer. Uh, long shaft, you know? yep, yep. So the only thing that bottles me on this one, and I did some research. Yeah. 1947 according to the model 17 a1 okay um one and a half horsepower one and a half horsepower 3000 rpms and okay. it's called mighty might mm -hmm. you know what's weird what's weird there's no fin coming down to protect the prop no skag it's, but it's not broken off it's like never no, welded never done anything with it so or somebody maybe it was broken and they but i think this is like a it's either a sample model as a salesman sample model oh. when they walked around yeah 
out to the customers to sell them, either to the shops or private. Yeah, to the distributor. Yeah. I think this is a sample model, and okay. that's why it doesn't have that fin maybe on the bottom, because normally it's got to protect your prop yeah. as you go in. Yeah. And another thing is, I found one photo, and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, on both sides, have like a silver guard, and there's even a spot here for a screw oh. that holds that guard. Yeah. Here's. I had them pulled up. I was just doing research on them the other day. I was told this runs, so to, not that it matters, but it is a running motor. But it could be a salesman. You're right. It looks so clean, like it was never run. You know, gaskets are clean. So look at look at if you if you gotta get that, go no, ahead no, and get no, that. No, no, but look at this one. So this is the same model, okay. 17A1. Yep. But it has a different tank on it. Like it's oh, round. Curved. It's yeah. going around the engine. Around the flywheel, yeah. And then if I look, yeah. Yeah. Okay. this is the box that it came look in. And it does have the fin yeah, the going big... all the way down. The only you thing know? I could think of, maybe this is older and they decided to add that later. I don't know. You're right though. I and see that guard? Yep. And that it's one screwed. screw that it's holding probably yep. in this spot. And it's supposed to be on both sides because if mm -hmm. you look from both sides, it does have oh, yeah. on that side and that side. So That makes sense. Okay. That one actually sold for 1500 bucks mm -hmm. on auction. Yeah. Now here's, look at oh, this look one. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's like mine. That's like that's yours. Identical. So We're that's what they're saying. Salesman display. Ah. Uh, Yes. So I think that one is real. Yes. That it's actually, and this is a salesman showpiece that he walks around and shows it off. Maybe you're right. Um, Maybe, I would assume and, it's still right. And look at the square. Oh, different, just different lettering on it a little yeah, bit. But the Maybe same bracket. A little bit higher tank, but the same bracket same that bracket. holds the tank. Yeah, same bracket. So I think that's exactly what this is. This is a salesman sample that he walks around and sells it. That's even this cool. is loose too. Uh -huh. This is supposed to have a rubber gasket that holds it in place here. That's the water exhaust or something. So, yeah. That's the water up. Uh, yeah. That line on the back here that's uh -huh. made out of rubber. Yeah. Now maybe later on in the models they did rubber, but in some of them... It's metal or oh, copper? This one is rubber too, but on the one that it's actually used, uh -huh. the one that I showed you before, Yeah. I think that one, one of the pictures, was like a copper, just like these lines. Okay. So, okay. I mean, a price for a one that you can actually use out with the fin going all the way out. Right. Nice, 1500 bucks. I mean, yeah. beautiful, right? That's, that's good, good research. The salesman sold for 850, which is still pretty good. It's pretty I good, think. it's almost a thousand. Um, yeah. What would you need to get out of this? What I, are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know, man. Do you do consignment where you where you just do a percentage? Whatever you get, we you get the percentage, or do you do consignment where it's like fixed in this? How, how do you do? I, I do both ways with the cars. I'm a car dealer, so. Yeah, so. I mean, I only do consignment on higher ticket items here that I know it might sit here for a long time and I don't want to put my money in. Okay. And I usually go just 50-50 on stuff like that. Okay. This, I would rather just make you an offer and buy it off of you. Okay. I don't know how much you got in it. What do you need to expect to get out of it? I mean, so. Let me think for a little, a few minutes. I mean, a few hours. I like it. It's, I like it a yeah. lot. It's a very cool piece. Being a Crystal Lake store, it's cool, you know. <laughs> Not even that, it's just everything about it. It's cool that it's, it probably never hit the water. It is a samples model for a salesman to walk around to sell it. That's cool. You got these two original cans being called, but the letter pieces, you know, being displayed like this. That's really cool, yeah. Um, Different though, this is metal, this is brass. This is brass, yeah. It's much smaller. That's a smaller prop, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think the main reason that I'm 99% sure because of not having that extending all the way to protect that pop, that this is a salesman sample. I think you're 100%. Because you would never take it out on a real water, that there is a reason for this to protect that prop. Mm -hmm. So, but. Mm -hmm. That's a really good uh, research you did. I had no idea. Show wow. me a number. What yeah. are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Let me think. My dad gave it to me. That's why. Yeah. I think, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So, according, look at this too. Okay. According. Apparently this model was made from started in 1947 and they made it all the way to 1961. That's long. Um, That's long. Wow. Here somebody sold a used one. Oh gosh. Look at that. Got that cover, yeah. right? The tank is the one that it's wrapping around and they're yeah. saying 1961 on this one. Wow. 
if you look at that uh, fin, it goes all the way down, yeah. right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's uh -huh. a real one. Yeah. Only sold for 139, but it's a used. Used 61. Used yeah. 61, kind of beat up. Yep. You know, and he's saying here that he's kind of selling this um, stored in a dry barn for 30 years. Oh my gosh. Kind of sold it as is, you know, he's not yeah. as a collector item, not guaranteeing that it runs. Um, who knows if this runs? I, I bet you it probably does. It, it does. is missing a couple things to make it. Mm -hmm. But I think. I, I pulled this out and I turned it. and then. Just, oh, yeah. That has a great down. compression. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's perfect. Yeah. I don't smell any gas in a tank. I open it up, I smelled it, but it, it, it's 60, 70 years, so yeah. it might not even smell. So it may have never had gas ever. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't you... think so. I think it was just a sample, you know, for salesmen to walk around and. That's cool to know. Yeah. Because I thought some old guy made this. Yeah. But you're right. The sand. I wonder if there's any like. Uh... Why would you have that handle on top? To uh, carry no. around. There's it no markings on the bottom, right? There's nothing. No, okay. There's yeah. nothing. I looked. I took it off. I looked everywhere. Salesman, um, you're right. Yeah. Let me think for a couple hours. Let me just figure it out. Let me just know. think about it. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me think. Okay. So we'll you, yeah, we'll we'll just do it where you yeah. buy it out. So right? if I'm I'm just gonna shoot you out my number, what I would do. Okay. Right. okay, that's good. If you gotta grab it. No, 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 these are just all these people texting me. So no one texts me for the whole morning. Then when I come here to talk to you, thirty texts. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, I would be player at like four hundred bucks if I would buy it off of you. It's reasonable. Um, based on what I saw, what you know, sold mm -hmm. without you know, mm -hmm. without that fin going all the way down. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's probably gonna stay as a simple model. Yeah, someone that likes motors for that, display. That nobody's ever around. gonna use this, right? No. It, it, it is no. so so clean. But based on the one that sold for the eight hundred fifty bucks, I would be at like a player at about half of that. Okay. So think about what it. Do you think about that. If you want, like always, you always like to get store credit. I'll okay. give you five hundred bucks. Okay. Store credit. That's good to know. That's good. To, yeah. Yes. That's good to know. So, okay. I do know. prefer the store credit. Yeah, let me think about that. How much credit you already accumulated? Not, from? not well. I spent it, but I know you I probably do. have like 150 in okay. tags okay. right now. Okay. Yeah, not so. crazy. I like that better. Nice, nice, nice vintage piece of electronic work coming. You'll spend it. I know you will. Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, I bought the record player. All these things. I like it. So. I bought the PS4 from you. Yeah. Everything's great. So. You guys are great. I can give you more reviews too. You know, you guys are really good. No, I appreciate you. So if you want, I'll okay. leave this yeah, leave with you there. so you have that info too. You just keep it. You keep it. You just want to think about it? Let me think of You keep it. Yeah, let okay. me think about it. Yeah, right. I, th I think we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I, I'm glad to hear that because I would like to buy it from you. It's a yeah. very cool piece. It is cool. You just keep it. Um, uh, you, don't, you, don't, you guys don't buy like a, like a furnace, right? I mean like small, like a high efficiency, really nice shape. I'll show it to you, a picture. Is it used or new? It was installed. It was, I got it from a contract. It was installed for like six months. So technically illegally, but not right, much use right. at all. It's a, it's a high efficiency furnace. Anyway, I don't want much for it. You know, it was like forty five hundred dollars new. But when you say efficient, do you know what is it rated for? Yes. How how big of a place? Yeah, it's a sixty thousand BTU, so okay. an average, and it's a ninety six percent efficient. It's the high efficiency kind. Okay. Of thing. It's a nice shape too, and it's small. It's not crazy big. I can fit it in my car, you know. Okay. I, I just know you guys had some appliances. And you seem to do pretty yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, I, I I do sell Here some of that stuff. Um, can you see that? It's a man. Yeah. It's a nice shape. You know, it's so listen, the only the only worry that I have when I buy stuff like that, people come in and ask, "Hey, am I getting any warranty with this?" I'm like, "No, I'm a, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, no longer you, if you're selling from a authorized dealer, you're buying one, yes. you're getting the full warranty and stuff like that. And I yeah. can't tell anybody I'm going to give you any kind of warranty. They could drop you it, can. hook it up wrong. Something, you know, so, as if, yeah. so I'm kind of selling this as is as well too. And I'm trusting you because we did so much business that it works. I'm sure. You know yeah, what I mean? It works. Yeah, it definitely works. No issues. Um, 100% no issues. So just tell me what you would need to get out of it that I don't know what you paid for it new or, you know, figure out, let me know. I mean, yeah, I bought it for 500 bucks, but I don't, I, don't, I don't want that much for it. So, like, if, you know, I mean, honestly, if I got 250 bucks for it, I'd be happy. It's five grand new. I can give you the model number. I have all that. Yeah, give me that info. I'll do a little bit of yeah, research, but I think that's fair. I mean, let me get 250 this. bucks, I think I can still make some money on it. You can. You can, you, know? you, you can sell it for 800 all day long. 
You think so? You think I, I can I get that? Seven fifty? Yeah, put seven fifty on it. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All day long. I mean, you, you could put nine hundred on there because it, uh, it is a ninety six efficient, the newer <clears throat> style. Yeah. So you guys just saw the negotiation back and forth a little bit with this fantastic piece here, Neptune little outboard motor and now I am the proud owner of it um, it took a minute he had to think about it um, it's always hard when a piece like this been in your family for a very very long time this was his dad's and his dad owned this for a very long time so it's been in his house uh, for a long time and he's attached to it so it, was, it wasn't easy for him to let it go but he's not into that kind of stuff he says just I'll let it go so this thing has been never ran fantastic compression on it here um, I'm thinking almost 99% sure that this was a salesman sample and the reason I say that, like I mentioned earlier to him, it's missing that fin on the bottom here that protects the prop when it's spinning. I don't think they would release a real unit without it to the open market. Uh, and I've seen a couple of these used with the fin on the bottom. So that makes me think that this is most likely a salesman sample. And the way this board is done, that has a cutout for carrying this around for your hand um, it just screams everything about it right there's an extra prop here there's a couple cans uh, which are very cool too they're correct to the period of course they're empty very cool piece uh, it's missing a guard I think originally when you buy it and you want to use it on a boat it would have a guard that would cover this if it gets hot so you don't get burned. There's actually a hole here to install that guard on both sides. Um, so that's what tells me that this is most likely a salesman sample. Never been ran. This thing is completely super clean inside. Doesn't smell gas or anything like that. Unbelievable piece. Now. We finally agreed on this for $450. It was a little bit back and forth. You know, I offered him 400 cash or 500 store credit, and we came in the middle into 450. How much this will bring? It's very hard to tell because these salesman uh, pieces are out there, but this is definitely just a piece for decoration you, you wouldn't really use this unless you change the bottom here you get the cover so they will range in price tremendously anywhere between like 800 bucks all the way to 2000 that's how big of a spread I seen depending on it each which model you have um, I think this one the only one that I found sold for like 850 bucks uh, it had a black tank instead of the red one. I think I'm gonna put like 1200 bucks on this and just let it sit here till we find a buyer or somebody who wants this. Very, very cool piece. You don't see stuff like that. Super excited that I was able to pick it up. Um, love it, love it. Hey guys, it's Otto here. Can I get a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm? It will really, really help us out. What's up? Yeah, I was wondering if I can either possibly sell these or trade them here. Xbox One games? Yes. I got a couple of them. What do you think, Ryan? Do we want any more uh, Xbox One or are we I, staying I away? I do the modern games, actually. Yeah. Unless it's Nintendo Switch, but... Uh, I don't think I'm your guy for these. I think you need to go to, like, you know... Okay, that's GameStop. fine. Yeah, GameStop. Because we... That's, that's cool. What happens is, I mean, I still buy them if they come with a bundle with like a system and stuff. No, and that's I how, But just no, individually, we don't do well with games. That's so. okay. That's okay. I understand. Sorry, my friend. No, that's no problems. Nothing yeah. I can't live without. Thank you. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. You too. Hey, Pete. Yeah. I got a question to ask you. What's with you and always putting these like expensive like thousand dollar items next to the door yeah, i know that's where we said it <laughs> which one like the that guitar motor? and oh yeah that's but, true but that expensive that so, so listen listen point. listen as soon as we put it there that was my first like somebody's walking out with this thing so yeah. i at least had tied to a pole the, well i'm gonna get 
thin metal wire I'm yeah. gonna run it through those holes and I'm gonna attach it to that barrel. Nobody's running with the whole barrel. What if you have, uh, <laughs> what if you have a big monkey and he's gonna do this monkey barrel stuff? Oh. <laughs> so behind here, behind these couple cards that I have here, I have two signs that at this time, at this moment, they're really nothing and nobody would pay attention to them. But 20, 25 years from now, now this one is cooler because it has, you know, Kellogg's on it, so serious company. But the reason I kept these, somebody brought me this V-shape sign that you set up, you know, outside and in front of the building. And I took these off of that plastic uh, holding thing, whatever you call it, when these go in. Because I think down the line, and we got a furnace kicking out, down the line, anything I think that it's going to say COVID-19, you know, anything about pandemic, Right now, it's nothing to us, right? Because we are so used to this. But I think 20, 25 years from now, these signs are actually gonna be worth some money. Now, this one is obviously gonna be worth a lot more because it got actual company tied to it. But this is free PCR, right? Rapid COVID-19 testing. Stuff like this, uh, a couple generations from now, they're gonna be like, wow. That was when the pandemic happened. So I think these are cool. I'll just stick them here in the back. I'll probably be six feet under when they're actually gonna be worth any money, but I thought I think they're cool. So it's time, postcards. But I'm holding a whole bunch here because last time I think we made a little boo-boo. So my last postcard that I ended with, I said 670. But according to my count, I was at 659, so it's supposed to be 660. So this postcard is going from 670 to 660, and then we're gonna have a new 670 card coming up this round. 661, 662, 663, 664, 665, woohoo, 666. And if uh, any of you think I don't read the card, there is a reason for this card to be 666. 667, 668, 669, and finally, correct, 670. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.